Hello and welcome everyone to this quick 13 minutes-ish desk rescue yoga. And this is wonderful to release quickly after a day of work. Desk work, when you have your hands in front of your computer, your neck, your shoulders start to tighten up, the back of your the back and your hips tighten and your hamstrings shorten. So we are going to remedy all of this in 13 minutes. And uh, of course, you would like to repeat this session whenever you can, once or twice a week, would be amazing. So here we go. Simple standing pose. We are just breathing here, inhaling arms overhead, and then interlace your fingers and pull your palms out. Just a big standing pose here. Feet are pushing into the ground and we're enjoying this scenery here. Then side bend to the left. Make sure you're not bending forward, but really opening the side body. This might crack a little, maybe in the neck. So make sure you're including your head into this stretch. Then you will come back to center and exhale big bend over to the right side again make sure you're not bending forward my trick is to look up to the sky to these crowns of the trees so we are in a national park here in the bavarian forest and this is basically pristine forest you could call this jungle <laughs> Now sit back, still having your arms overhead in this interlaced palms out umbrella arms, I call those. So we're sitting on an imaginary chair, pushing the hips backwards. Now pull your navel in, supporting your back and wave your arms down and up. And you're trying to bring the hands together behind your back. Maybe they're touching, maybe not, doesn't matter. Make sure that your shoulders are away from your ears and try to bring the shoulders back so your shoulder blades can kiss. Then come forward into tabletop. You didn't know your shoulder blades could, could kiss, right? Tabletop. This is a little bit of a hamstring stretch, but also a back strengthener. So whatever is tight needs to be both strengthened and lengthen. So here we go for lengthening, hamstring stretch and a whole backline stretch. So let's show that your head is dangling, getting away of some hungry mosquitoes here. <laughs> the amount of mosquitoes in this pristine forest is just mind blowing. It tells us a lot about how little insects there are still left in this urban, in our urban areas. Again, back to downward facing dog. Come down into opening your chest, shifting your weight a little bit backwards. Hip bones are pointing up into the sky. And this opens the chest nicely and lengthens the spine and step forward into low lunge. Right foot forward, left foot back. Stretching your hips, the psoas. Great hip opening here on the left side. And from here we come up into umbrella arms. We already know those. Yes, we need to strengthen and lengthen all of those tight areas. So that's what we're trying to achieve here in this 13 minutes desk rescue yoga. So stay in your lunge, arms overhead, just breathe and then release. Step back into downward facing dog, lengthening the spine, engaging the navel a little bit and then step forward with your left leg other side. First stay in low lunge. We need to open that hip also a little bit. First open that right hip. That hip flexor needs a little love before we can come up into high lunge. Arms overhead. So really stretch those arms out my thumb doesn't want to go in but that's fine 
So extend those arms, keep breathing. And we are opening the chest here, but also strengthening the back of our shoulders here. Then release back down, step forward into low lunge and release the whole back line, release the shoulders, the back, the head, the neck, and also stretch the hamstrings a little. If you feel like moving, wobbling a little, that's totally fine. Sometimes we need to just ease into a position. Then come back up into standing next round, arms overhead. Umbrella arms and then sit back into yoga chair. Arms still extended overhead. Hips pushing back and down. And we are going to strengthen our, our legs here a little, our thighs. Because also when we're sitting too much, those, those get lost. <laughs> then extend into table position. Arms pulling back. And you are having your palms facing up. Crown of the head is pushing forward. And your sitting bones are pushing back. Then release down into forward fold. Really enjoy these forward folds. And forward folds are one thing you can do during your day if you are stressed. For winding down quickly. But also for a quick stress and contraction release in the whole back line. And step back into down facing dog. Try to push both hands evenly into the ground. All of the base of the fingers. All the bases of the fingers. And then we come back forward with the right leg. So next round is in warrior pose. So your back foot is anchored 60 degree. And now we are twisting our brain <laughs> and twisting our arm. So one elbow is on top of the other. I have my left elbow on top of the right to ease into this rotation here. So my shoulders are still parallel to the front of my mat. Then lift those arms a little. We're stretching the back of the shoulders. Then release back forward, step back into downward facing dog. They are called Garuda arms. And we're doing the same thing right now, right here on the other side. So step forward with the left leg, anchor your back foot 60 degrees, inhale arms up and then interlace and twist your arms the other side. My right elbow is on top of my left elbow. Left knee is forward, stretching the back of the shoulders. And this is a great stretch to do during your day, as we often have to contract the back of our shoulders if we work with our arms in front of our body. So this is great to loosen that area and to release some tension. And exhale, step forward all the way into forward fold. Enjoy those forward fold, it's amazing. And then come back up into standing mountain pose, umbrella arms, inhale and then exhale. Have a seat, sit down, pushing your hips back and down. Hands go the opposite. They're going up and forward. Yes, nice long line here, pulling the navel in a little, supporting the back with your core muscles. And you're almost there. I know it starts to hurt a little, but this is all fine. Come forward into tabletop. This is healthy movement. Palms up, pulling the hands back, pulling your sitting bones back. Deep inhale and exhale. Come forward, forward fold, release everything. Just get rid of everything. Shake your head, nod your head. Put your head, look around you, look between your legs. Still trying to get rid of mosquitoes. I wasn't successful, I had a lot of bites. Then <laughs> exhale back into downward facing dog. Right foot comes forward, here we go. 
We're coming into warrior two position and in tr the extended side angle pose. So you're opening the chest all the way to the side. Now either have your hand on the floor or your right elbow on top of your right knee if you can't go as low. Uh, of course, if you have a yoga block or other prop, you can use this to lean on to. Sun warrior, greeting the sun here, reaching through the trees. Big inhale, side extension. This is a wobbly pose. And then exhale, come back forward and step back into downward facing dog. Down dog getting easier. The more often we do it, that means our shoulders are opening back up. Then left foot comes forward, get into your warrior position. So 60 degrees with your back foot. Then open your chest to the side, side angle, extended side angle. So we're reaching the right arm overhead, left hand either on the ground, on your prop, or elbow or hand on the knee, whatever you need. But open your side, open your ribs, and then come back up into Sun Warrior, catching yourself here. Yes, nothing is easy. We have to even fight for a yoga pose, but that's all good because we only do this one thing right now and we can focus on this very one thing, breathing and moving our mind and our body and our breath, doing the same thing, working in tune, focusing on the same thing. So come back into standing, arms overhead, interlacing, big mountain pose, and then exhale, twist to the right. Big exhale. And inhale, arms up, exhale, twist to the left. Just cooling down, releasing, and you're all set. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Come back to the session if you can once or twice a week. I'm here for you welcome very welcome to join then interlace the hands behind your back open the chest this is also something you can do during your day at work and then last inhale then bring your hands into anjali palms together thumbs to the forehead to the chin to the chest the heart Namaste, everyone. Stay calm, stay focused, don't lose your breath, and keep your body and mind in tune to stay in flow. See you all next time. Bye!